Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, today I'm going to show you how to update your Ledger Nano S Plus. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. And with recording this video, I'm enjoying the Joel Gott Zinfandel. Uh, it actually is a not bad. Costco had it for about 10 bucks today. Um, it's the 2019 year. So I would say it's a little bit uh, lighter on the fruit. It's not as bold as I was expecting for a Zinfandel, but it's still you know nice on the palate and still has some good plum uh, notes to it as well. So anyways, cheers to you guys and back to the video. Well, today's gonna to be a little bit different. You won't be able to see me on the screen as I'm showing you how to do this, but that's okay. Let's hop into it. So you're gonna put in your password here. Go ahead and put that in. Once you get into Ledger Live, it's gonna start synchronizing at the top. Let's go ahead and click on my Ledger. It's gonna let you know, hey, you need to connect your Ledger Nano S Plus. Go ahead and uh, connect that there. And so once you're in there, you can't see it right now on my screen, but you're going to enter your pin. And then go ahead and once you put your pin in, do the check mark to accept it. Once you have done that, it'll say allow Ledger Manager. Click both buttons at the top. And now we are in and you can see at the top it says update firmware 1.1.0 is available. So let's go ahead and update that firmware, okay? And that gives you information on what's new with this version. Scroll down. I have my recovery phrase. Go ahead and select that, then do continue. And so now it's going to start downloading the update for you. All right, and now it's letting us know, hey, please confirm the update on your device. So you're going to see on your device, it's going to say new firmware 1.1.0, toggle to the right, and then do both buttons at the top to say confirm update. Okay, and then it's gonna ask us to put our pin back in. Accept it again. All right, and then go ahead and click here on the reinstall apps. Go ahead and click that again. All right, so one more time, allow a secure connection with Ledger, both buttons at the top. Now it's gonna go through the process of it reinstalling the apps that you have on this particular device. In this case for the video, I just have Bitcoin here. That's all I have installed right now on this device, but you can always add more if you want to. We could do Ethereum. Let's go ahead and do that, just to show you here for the video. Perfect, all right. And so then you can even come here, apps installed, you can see what apps that you have available. And that is how you update your Ledger Nano S Plus. Hopefully that was super easy and simple for you to follow. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Like this video, subscribe the channel, and I will be producing more content as it comes. Hopefully I can get the whole studio situation figured out so I'm not using my laptop camera to record these videos. But until next time, guys, I'll see you when I see you.